Pretty soon after uh, getting into video production, we learned just how big 4K video was and, uh, and how long it took to move it around a network. Currently our workflow is we work off of uh, portable SSDs that are plugged into our Macs via USB-C or USB-3. We work locally and then we back the stuff up and archive it to a Synology on the network. Earlier this week with a client video shoot, we actually filled that Synology to the brim. We, we have iMac Pros which have 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, ports on the back. When we built out our new office a couple years ago, we switched to Unify um, stuff by Ubiquity, and it's great networking gear, but it all capped out at, uh, you know, gigabit. So now that we're doing video, I want to take advantage of that 10 gigabit port on the back of the iMac. We needed to get three things to upgrade our network. So if we got the Synology DS18+, Plus, we got eight 10 gigabyte drives, we got a dual 10 gig Ethernet port, card to go in the Synology, as well as we maxed out the RAM, got 32 gigs of RAM for that. For the network, um, you know, we wanted to stick with Unify stuff, and you know, fortunately they make a fairly affordable 10 gig switch, and we had to get new cabling to, uh, to tie it all together. Uh, our existing infrastructure was Cat5e, and you know, that's good for gigabit ethernet, but for the distances we needed to run, it, it just wasn't enough for, uh, for 10 gig. The Unify switch, you know, it's got these four ports that are, you know, the RJ45 ports for the iMac Pro, so they plug right in. And the other 12 were um, the SPF Plus. You know, they're designed for, um, you know, long runs on like fiber optic cable, but I'd never worked with these cables, and I'd never really worked with, uh, with link aggregation, which lets you kind of bind ports together to double the bandwidth. Um, but all that stuff was super easy. Um, one little quirk, I did have a standard patch cable for the initial setup. Um, it didn't want to see these at first. After a quick Google, I learned that, uh, you know, sometimes these things didn't auto negotiate. So I did have to go in and manually say, hey, this is a 10 gig E cable. And then after that, super fine, everything just worked. Again, I'm not a network administrator. I was able to like set the port speeds and uh, you know, once the Synology was up and running, I could tell it, hey, bind these together. Um, with the ports bound together in the Synology, multiple iMac Pros can be connected to it and get the full 10 gigs, you know, in each lane. So, um, you know, binding them together kind of lets everybody take full advantage of the new switch. We still have a lot of workflow issues to figure out, and this isn't a final review review by any stretch, but just initial impressions are extremely promising. We're reading and writing from those mechanical drives over the network faster than we could read or write from the SSD connected to USB-C, and that's, that's the crux of this video. It's like, yeah, it's faster to connect to these mechanical drives over the 10 gig E network than it is to use um, an SSD directly plugged into the machine with USB-C.